here's a video I am very excited about. If you watch uh, my Instagram or any social media, which you should, you know I like whiskey. And my favorite is Japanese whiskey, which we're gonna drink today. Hell yeah, boy. It's one of those videos where I don't know if this is a good idea, but I just wanna drink some whiskey. <laughs> so I thought we'd start with the uh, Japanese type whiskey. It's personally my favorite, probably a little, little biased because I, I love Japan. Uh, okay, so left side we have uh, yeah the Suntory whiskey. Never mind, there you go. And right side we have the Nik. Actually, this doesn't belong. We have the Nika Nika whiskey. Those are the two big distilleries or uh, companies rather. Sorry, in Japan, Suntory and Nika. They're all very different, but the first one ever made was the Yamazaki and I have a 12 year old one which is uh, very nice very nice and then we have an 18 year old one which I've never even tried before I've never had 18 year old aged whiskey so I'm really excited oh Suntory you may have heard of from the um, the movie Lost in Translation when Bill Murray is on the he's doing the commercial and he's like for relaxing time make it Suntory time so I, th I thought we'd start with Yamazaki because it's the oldest of oldest. It's from 1923 it started. So it's, it's the oldest, I think it's the oldest distillery in Japan. I don't know for sure. I'm curious if I will tell, tell a difference between the 12 year and 18. I had this one before, it's very nice. I'll just say that about any whiskey really. It's very nice. It's giving me a very sweet palette. I'll just be like, it's very nice. I like how they keep their bottles simple. Just fucking, that's it. Okay. Get over there, it's gonna be nice, girl. We're gonna, we have a lot of stuff to try, so let's just. That's very nice. It's got a oaky taste to it. Very, very beautiful. How nice from very nice to very nice? I would give it seven very nices. We have the 18 years. Let's just get the big guns out right away. Very nice, got the Suntory on the back. 18 years. This bottle, guess how much it costs, Marzi? 500. Damn it. Did I tell you? No. It's 500. Wow. It's pretty crazy. I think in Japan you'll get it for like 120. Mm. I never spent this much nearly on a whiskey. I'm like nervous even trying it. No, oh, it smells, it's beautiful. You can definitely tell a difference. Much smoother taste, you can really feel it more. It's just a beautiful whiskey. Very nice. Very nice! I'm liking this, this is fun. <laughs> uh, the next one that came out was the Hibiki. This is not aged whiskey, it's sort of cheap and I think it's a blend as well. A meticulous blend of the finest whiskey. But Hibiki is very good. I think a lot, if you know Japanese whiskey, you'll definitely know about it. Hibiki, I should probably pour a little less. <laughs> we got a lot of whiskeys to go through. I was gonna make it for the video, but I started early. I mean, they all taste very nice. <laughs> it gives uh, the, the aftertaste. It's sort of a taste that hits you when you have it in your mouth, and then there's a taste when you swallow. And it's so much more superior in this one compared to the Hibiki. Even though the taste of them all is actually quite similar. Maya, can you be quiet or you want some whiskey? Then we have the Hakushu, aged in the forest. Okay. Hence the green uh, bottle and all that shit. Third Hakushu. Hakushu. Beautiful. Love the bottle, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah you know like it? I love it. It's very, it's got a very light color to it. This is the last one of the Suntory. That was fun. Whoa. That flavor is so different. I really like the Hakushu. I think I'll get an aged one of that next time. I think it's the same thing here. Since this isn't aged, you, you're not hit by that taste afterwards the same way that I like. But this is very nice. I give this one seven very nices. Eight very nices, seven very nices. 
This is a six, very nice. Now we're moving on to the Nika, which unfortunately I only got two of them and one I, I finished. I have a little, little bit left of this one. Yochi was the first one they made. So Nika was made by the legendary whiskey Japanese maker Takeshuru, what's his name? Maseraka Taketsuru. So this guy was like, I wanna make whiskey. So he went to Scotland to, to study it and then he's met, he met his main bitch, Rita, and then who was also studying uh, making whiskey. And then they went back to Japan and he joined the Santori team and he's like, nah, fuck you guys, I'm gonna make my own brand. So he made Nika. And the first one they did was Yochi, 1934. So Santori is older, but Ni I think Nika is, it's, it's cooler. <laughs> So they made Yochi and they try to recreate the, the same thing they did in Scotland. The same condition. They have it there, it's only made on the island, like the southern island, I think. Which is just as big as Scotland by the coast. They wanted it to be as authentic to Scot Scotch as possible. And Scotch is literally just whiskey, but it's made in uh, Scotland. Uh, Ooh, is that the difference? It's just the location? Yeah. But they has to be that just to be called a scotch. It probably won't taste good because I left too much air in this bottle. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, I got nothing in here. <laughs> well, it was good. I finished it. <laughs> Welcome to I'll monetize my alcoholism. Oh. Yochi gets eight and a half very nices. Damn. It bites your tongue. Very nice. Eight and a half. I would almost say it's better than this one. Oh, how much is that? And this is a cheap one. It's not aged. The other one I have is the Nika Coffee Malt, which if you like whiskey, I recommend you try it out. It's very different. It's not coffee. It's named after the cre uh, one of the investors or something like that. But I feel like it tastes like coffee. I might be paranoid. I feel like, I thought it was, oh, so it's like a coffee flavor. It's made from corn, mainly. It's cheap as well, if you wanna get something. I, feel, I, I don't wanna mess up the facts. I feel bad if I like get something wrong. I probably got some stuff wrong. But yeah, that's the, the coffee one. If I remember correctly, it has, oh, it smells beautiful. I think it smells so nice. I don't know if I even can tell them apart at this point. <laughs> They're all so good. <laughs> I'll give it seven, very nice. It gets, it gets a strong seven, very nice. So this is a blend. Single malt, single malt, single malt, single malt. So it's made from the same. What about that one? Which one, this one? This is a blend. Single malt didn't used to be very popular. When they started these, it wasn't really a thing. But now it's like, if you want a good whiskey, you probably want a single malt. I think. I, there's a lot of great blends as well, don't get, don't get me wrong. Uh, which actually brings me to the final, which is the Tugochi, which I couldn't find any information about. It's sort of a mysterious bottle. Uh, they actually don't have their own distillery. They, they don't, whoa, is this 18 years? I don't even know. So I have had 18 years age. You'll see it has a, Canadian writing on it, that's because they import from Scotland and Canada whiskey and then they masterfully blend it into the Togochi. I love it. Look at the bottle, it's so beautiful. It sort of has a, if I remember correctly, it has like a grassy taste to it, which doesn't sound good, but it's, it's very, I'm so glad I didn't finish this bottle. It, this one grew on me. I didn't really love it in the beginning, but then, okay. Yeah, it does have this weird, tastes like nature. <laughs> it's really good. It's so different from any of these. Like these, I, could, I couldn't really probably tell apart, to be honest. This one definitely has a unique, I can't believe it's 18 years. I had no idea. That's crazy. So that concludes my uh, Japanese whiskey. We got the Suntory, we got the Nika. I wish I brought more Nika. My favorite Nika is the Nika from Barrel. I really recommend that one. Check it out. If you want, if you're like, oh, I don't know which one to get, I want to start, try that one. It's very good. 
It's got a lot of alcohol in it. Got a good kick to it. Now we're gonna do the test, I feel like. You'll have to set up the blind test. I mean, the color is already a dead giveaway, isn't it? This one is darker, isn't it? Or maybe... If I had to guess just looking, I would say this is the 18 and this is the 12. So why don't we start with this one? I don't want to mess this up. It's like 50-50. It's good, it's so good. You can tell, I can tell it's Yamazaki because it has that cherry. <laughs> it's not even cherry, it's more, it, it, you can taste the casket, which doesn't sound good at all, but strong flavor in this one actually. Maybe that was the 18 years one. I don't know, I don't know, I need to try this one. Come on, what do I win? Nothing. Okay. Oh, that's hard. Here's the thing, I want to go with my intuition which tells me this is the 12 year one. No, the opposite. The flavor is telling me this is the 18. Okay, this is the 18. I got it? Okay. For real, I, I get a lot of questions like, oh, I wanna try whiskey. I don't, I tried Jack Daniels and I tried Jameson, but it's like, that's like saying, oh, I like burgers, but I'm, I love, I'm trying McDonald's and Burger King. Listen, there's this whole beautiful world waiting for you. Okay, Santori and Nika, thank you both. God bless you, Japan. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. I don't know if this even is a video. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I want to do scotch next, so let me know if you want me to actually do that. Okay, so And Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu, squad fam, Jiu-Jitsu, bye.